Hey, Solo, obviously the, the third quarter was tough tonight. Um, just what were some of the biggest problems in that third quarter for you guys, do you think? Um, honestly, uh, Memphis just wanted it more. And they were a more desperate team. Um, they're number one in the league in, in, uh, in steals, which uh, produces fast break opportunities for them, in which they took um, they took advantage of tonight. You know, um, they did it whether it was getting downhill and trying to get to the free throw line with a mix of and ones um, or getting to the paint and finding their shooters. They did a really good job of putting it together tonight. They shot 50 from the field, 40 from the, the three, and uh, 80, 80 from the free throw line. And they were more, they were the aggressors tonight. Um, you know, some things that we were used to, you know, I, I think it's, I think it's weird. Uh, I think uh, the NBA should take notice of Trey Young shooting two free throws. Um, whether you like it or not, it's, it's basketball. It's in the rule books. Books. What he does is, you know, uh, it's the same things that, you know, Steph Curry does, James Harden does, Kevin Durant does. When you're, you know, Lou Wills does. When you're a talented scorer in this league, this is an offensive league, um, you know, it, we think that he should be rewarded for his play. I don't care if people like it or not. Um, but, you know, starting the season, he's the guy shooting top five free throw attempts a game. And tonight he only gets two playing the same way. Um, so there's some inconsistencies that we can't complain about, but we can't be, go, go out and, and not be the more desperate team. You know, we haven't earned anything. We haven't won anything. And um, tonight was definitely a wake-up call. Jamila Johnson. Hey, Sela, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Um, so what have you seen out of Anyeka's growth so far this year? Yeah, he's still growing. You know, uh, it's tough to kind of, you know, put his growth in perspective. Um, you know, his, his availability as like this past month has been, he's been ready for us. Um, and the thing that, you know, guys have to understand on this team this year is that we, we all have to be ready and available at any given moment. Um, it, this year is taking a toll on a lot of our guys. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's staying with it. He, you know, he, he lacked um, summer league. He lacked uh, a, a real sense of training camp in these practices. But he's able to figure it out as he goes. Um, and we're going to be patient with him. We're going to continue to try to coach him. But he, he's doing nice on his roles. I think one of the biggest adjustments for any rookie is to be able to finish in the paint. You know, everybody's a high class, a world class athlete. And he's not just the biggest guy on the court no more. Um, and he's going to see some waves of different matchups. You know, he got a chance to play against Zion a little bit and Steven Adams. He got Jonas Valanciunas tonight. And, you know, um, we got a game coming up uh, against. Um, Vucevic. So he's going to learn. He, he's going to learn in, in game and, and get his rotations right and figure things out. Brandon Harper. Hey, Solo. Uh, coach talked about this being a uh, playoff atmosphere with the physicality and everything tonight. Uh, does this does this type of loss kind of help, you know, along with many other games, but this type of loss help mold you all into the team that you want to be as you continue to make this playoff push? Yes. Hopefully, you know, we understand, um, you know, that's a big scout report thing. You know, I, I don't, you, you got to understand that the coaches are not putting things on the board just for, for shits and giggles. When they say that they're the number one stills team in the NBA, they're going to pack the paint. Um, they want live ball turnovers. And when they get out, you know, you get to really see how fast and athletic, you know, John Moran is or, you know, they can really get going. You throwing it off the backboard and your own gym. I told you, talking to Ice, and I was like, that's usually what we do. We're usually the, the more um, athletic team getting out in the break is, is, and it's Trey throwing it up to JC. And we got a little bit of taste of that, of, of consistency. Um, um, throughout the game, they started off a little slow, but they came out that third quarter, made some adjustments, and that's what the playoffs are going to be about. It's going to be about adjustments. So you can't just think that you can hold on to a lead, uh, whether it's by quarters. Um, you got to finish the game. It's a full 48 game. Malik Brown. What's going on, Solo? What's good? So you guys, you guys had a good um, third quarter last night, and tonight seemed like the Grizzlies kind of handed it back to you guys. As a veteran in the league, how do you stay level-headed during these times? Oh, man, we got a game coming up in two days, bro. I'm being honest, you know, um, this year is, is, is really different. You can't, you can't dwell on anything. Um, that was, a, I mean, it was a big thing when the regular schedule 
but now it's uh, more important than anything. We have another team coming here in a few days. It's not like we have a day off and then two, like two days to practice and get ready for Chicago. Chicago will be landing here, I'm thinking tomorrow, and uh, we got a game the next day. So it, it's just about that next one. Luckily, we put ourselves in a position where, um, you know, this, got, this game didn't affect us going from like four to 10 or four to 11. Uh, we got some, a tiny bit of cushion, but we want to get back in that driver's seat and, and try to control our destiny. Uh, but we have to have quick memory, short-term memory as, as, as much as possible. All right, Solo, that was our final question for you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you.